hello everybody welcome i am presenta in this video we are going to talk about how to create the controls dynamically during the runtime and, uh, and how to assign the events to this control that you created uh, let me start with the scenario recently I, I have created a project for the supermarket it's a point of sale project and they are using a touch screen uh, part of my job is uh, I need to uh, get into the database and scan all the products and bring the products as a button into the screen so they can interact with the screen by pressing the buttons so for the checkout this is where I use the techniques to develop uh, creating a buttons uh, dynamically during the runtime so in this video I'm gonna show you how you can create the objects dynamically during the runtime and how you can assign the events to these controls creating a controls during the runtime is very easy rather it is a little confusing to many people how they can assign the events to these controls when they create it so we are going to clear that doubt uh, in this video uh, as you can see here i have already opened my visual basic 2008 in the screen the technique that i'm going to show you it worked well with all the three versions of visual basic vb.net vb 2005 and vb 2008 uh, but only one drawback for the vb.net guys uh, we are going to using this flow layout panel in this uh, program uh, these controls uh, vb.net guys they don't have this control what does this what this VB flow layout panel does is any controls that you place them inside the this flow layout panel the panel the controls automatically arrange them vertically and the subsequent rows so you don't have to position the you don't have to set the positions of these controls when you are creating during the uh, runtime so the the vb not vb.net guys those who are watching this video you guys have to do this manually so let me start with placing the flow layout panel inside the windows form and i'm gonna duck this uh, flow layout panel to the parent container which is our form and I'm gonna rename the flow layout panel because it's a little bit of big so I'm gonna make it a shortened form so I'm gonna type FLO flow uh, lay, lay by lay PA and a shortened form for the low play, uh, layout panel okay now I'm gonna double click the form so I can get into the code editor okay now in this project what I want to what I want to show you when the programs runs we are creating a 10 buttons a dynamic lay <clears throat> and placing the event for this um, event for this uh, uh, button that you created for start with uh, I'm gonna start with creating an integer variable so integer now I'm gonna set a loop for 10 times for 1 equal to sorry uh, I equal to 1 to 10 okay now we are ready to create a button to create a button first you have to create a button object to do that dim I'm gonna name the object btn as a new button UTT or button okay I'm gonna set the width of this button to be uh, 30 pixel and height of this button to be 30 pixels as well Okay, I'm gonna set the text property of this button to be the index of this property index of this button uh, the button position let's say which is I okay I'm gonna make the button visible so I set the visible property to true okay now I'm gonna place the button inside the flow layout panel to do that <coughs> you have to start with uh, uh, flow layout panel which is for lay panel that we renamed it dot controls dot add inside the parentheses you have to put the button object that we created okay all right that's it now we can test the application if I start the application uh, you can see I have button up to 1 to 10 uh, if I resize the form you can see the button also rearranging itself it because of this uh, layout panel that we place them inside again for the vb.net guys you guys have to rip uh, you have you guys have to write the code to set the position of the button when you are uh, creating a button or when you are resizing the form uh, 
uh, for VB 2005 and 2008 guys you guys don't have to worry if you put the layout panel it's gonna take care of the rest of the thing now if you notice here if I click the buttons it's nothing is happening it because uh, we didn't assign any events to this button okay uh, in my uh, next section in my next video how I'll show you how you can assign the buttons to assign the events to this button that you created so I'll see you on next video quickly